I hope that you will try to use the holes for making more accurate shapes for the mouth. What is next? Simply unselect the holes and uh, check what is the what is left antennas of the butterfly have been left antennas of the butterfly are left you need a new circle copy that one and uh, move it to the first antenna on right side right at this place and rotate its angle in this way enlarge the size of the circle then duplicate this antenna as you have duplicated and done the work in previous steps simply scale where you feel that scale is better and rotate where you feel that the rotation will be a good change this way once again we should rotate it and scale it And when you are done creating the all circles for modeling an antenna for our butterfly, select them one by one. loft again this is the antenna of our butterfly and uh, duplicate the antenna by pressing ctrl d to scale it on minus x one degree one unit in this way let's go cool. let's go ahead now the only stamens for the filament of antenna are left create a nerve sphere and uh, move the sphere upwards change its rotation x on 90 degree on axis uh, on x axis change its rotation 90 degree on x axis and then scale it as smaller as the antennas should be antennas anther stamen should be and uh, rotate them and then use the second view move their position this is the front view move them upwards here then the side view and place them at the end of the filament in this way we need to scale them inwards a little more and then change its pivot point to the center line by pressing insert key and then duplicate it 
on raise its transformation first then duplicate it on minus 1 x let's watch our butterfly we have completed the butterfly in next lesson we shall create the material textures and other necessary things for this butterfly and we shall animate the butterfly using dynamics save the scene and thank you very much